So a lot of people want to know how I make my beans and season my meat. So I want to make this video to let you all in on that information. And I'm getting straight to the point. Straight to the point. Let's go. So whether it's pink beans, red beans, black beans, it's all the same thing. So be sure to try this with any type of beans. When it comes to the ingredients, these are the ingredients you will be working with. So make sure you jot that down on a notepad. Make sure you look for it. The only Goya products that I use is the garlic powder and that one down there in the middle with the green cap. Everything else is Badia or um, Noor. So when it comes to the bean making process, you wanna make sure that you rinse this liquid out. If you're gonna not get them canned, you have to um, let it sit in water, boil it to soften it up. So you make sure that you have, you have to make sure to rinse out this water. Do not cook your beans with this water. That is disgusting, I'm sorry. Clean it. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse that out. Rinse it out about two times to make sure that you have thoroughly cleaned the beans. So there you go. Clean up your beans, people. Do not throw them directly into the pot with that liquid. That is, I, I'm sorry, it's just my opinion. I know a lot of people use it for flavor. I, on the other hand, do not agree with that. So if you have a magic bullet, uh, you could use a bigger cup than this, or you could use this one. Out of this amount here, you're gonna get a good amount into the cup. Let's see. So this should be however much you want to leave in there for the, for the beans because we're going to make a cream out of this. So I don't work with too much beans because Glenn does not eat too many of them. So hold on, I'm going to put more in here. So we're working with this much beans. So we're going to put water in here and we're going to add, we're going to blend it to make a, a consistent cream. Back up, help. There you go. I'm just gonna let that uh, blend up. So this is the cream right here. This is what gives the beans consistency. So we're gonna just get this uh, some a tablespoon, uh, maybe a tablespoon and a half of oil. I use olive oil. Any brand is okay. So there you go. So while that's heating up, I will talk about the vegetables that I put in there for flavor. And I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna use the mushrooms for the chicken. I use uh, peppers, bell peppers white onion so that's for the chicken and this is for the beans now i also like i said do the bell peppers um i do some for the chicken i do some for the meat so that's that cilantro another thing is cilantro For the chicken, for the beans. We're throwing that now into the oil. So as that cooks, we're just gonna give it some time to then throw in the, the vegetables that we just finished cutting up. And then we're gonna throw in the cream, and then we're going to work with the seasonings. First ingredient going in. Now 
Now remember, if you need more beans, add another can of beans. If you need uh, for it to be more liquidy, add more water. Oregano, just a bit, with a teaspoon. I'm gonna go ahead and add more water. Next seasoning from Goya. Also start by adding small. Don't go too hard on the ingredients. You can always add more. So try to take it easy. You don't want it to be too salty, but in the event that it gets too salty, you can always add more water. So that's what I just finished adding, garlic powder. Chicken flavor powder. That's how much I'm adding. I also forgot one more thing. Actually, two more things. So let me mix that up. This little packet for flavor and a bit of color, coloring. Now, a lot of people don't know about this. My mom shared it with me. I don't know what big difference it makes, but she's very uh, into her flavors, so she could tell the difference, and if she could tell the difference, then it makes a difference. She adds a teeny bit of vinegar as a final touch, so it's kind of like very teeny bit. Should be way less than this. It's kind of like two drops, and that's supposed to give it a nice kick. Uh, it helps it with the flavor. If you need more water, please add it while making sure that the flavors are still good. So the flavor is still really good. I'm gonna lower the fire to ver to low. So when it comes to the chicken, you always want to make sure you clean it. Whether you use lemon, lime, or vinegar whether it's white vinegar or apple cider vinegar mix that in with cold water rinse it clean it repeat with water we always season the chicken with the same ingredients however with with meat i always add some soy sauce with low sodium or you could do regular sodium it's really up to you but it's pretty much the same thing i'm gonna start with the garlic We're gonna also add the badia seasoning. Now I'm not giving any measurements because it's really uh, programmed in my mind already. I just, if, if, if you haven't done this before, I suggest to go from a little bit to more as you go, but Definitely don't overdo it with the flavor. It could be, it could come out very salty, so you don't want that. So next is uh, the the chicken powder flavor. Soy sauce, like a tablespoon. Go yeah. It seems like a lot, but it's not. Oregano. Mix it all up. I'm still not done, by the way. In this situation, I would add some water on the side because I also mix in a little bit of that red packet. And that same water we will be cooking the chicken with, but we're not putting it in right away. We're gonna fry, we're gonna stir fry the chicken. So you kind of mix that on the side and then pour it over. and start mixing them again.
You also add the drops of vinegar to this as well. So add it to the area where there's liquid. And that's it. And go ahead and mix again. All right, so that's practically ready. So that's ready, guys. So we're gonna get another pot. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put it on high heat and we're going to add the oil. And the first thing that's going in here is just the meat. You're leaving the liquid in the bowl. You're not putting everything together in here. This is a very slow process and you gotta have patience. So grab a fork and just start adding the chicken little by little. Also, after you add the chicken, you have to wait before you add the vegetables. Once the chicken has gotten color, then you add the vegetables for more flavor. So let's start putting this chicken on. So today I'm only making chicken breast, which is my favorite. So you do this with all the parts of the chicken. So you're gonna let that get some color. Most of the color does not come from the seasoning, it comes from the way you cook the chicken. And I'm gonna show you how you do that right now. So this is the remainder. And as the water that's in here dries up, you're gonna add a tablespoon of it. So that's what's gonna give it color. So that's cooking and it's gonna keep drying up. You're gonna keep flipping it. And adding water. And after it has done got some color, like I said, then you add the onions, the bell pepper, the mushrooms, if you're gonna add mushrooms. I'm just experimenting and trying something different, so I decided to add mushrooms to my chicken today. And the cilantro. Some people add also celery. I would have added celery, but I ran out. So I want you guys to take a look at the beans really quick. Whoop, fogged up the camera. But there's a lot of consistency here, a lot of flavor. So I just let it sit there, absorbing more of the vegetable flavor. So that process is going to continue. The water is going to keep drying up and you're going to have to keep adding water. You continue adding water, just continue flipping over and over. Once it has enough color, you can add the vegetables. See that it's getting flavor. I mean it's getting see that? It's getting color. And it's gonna continue getting color. So keep watching. Now we can add everything else.
And the more you do that, and the more it dries up, and the more color, the more flavor, the better it comes out. This chicken is almost the color that I want it to be. And it's mainly because of the way I am cooking it. That's all it is. Mainly because of the way that I am cooking it. It's not because I put a lot of, of the food color in packet. As you saw, it was barely anything. What absorbed that was the water. And the water is what we're using. But as you can see, the water is barely any, you know, any type of orangey or reddish. So we have the chicken done. That's exactly how you make all the parts of the chicken. Also red meat, that's exactly how you cook the red meat, nothing else. The red meat needs to be cooked with much more water because it, it tends to get rubbery and you don't want chewy meat. You want the red meat to fall apart in your mouth, honestly. So it needs a lot of flavor, the red meat more water and a lot of time on the cooking stove if you poke it and it feels hard it, it just because it looks like it's cooked doesn't mean it's ready to eat oh crap so we have worked really hard on the color the flavor now, all it needs is time and water as you go. Now, at this point, you can put down the fire, the heat, and just continue being patient. You can cover it up if you like also. I'm going to add a little bit more water because I am going to cover it up now. And mix it around you can see it's getting way more color natural color nothing orangey nothing yellow it's just real color real neat color so now we're just gonna cover that We have the, the beans and we have the rice cooking. Now it's just time to wait. Look at how much color. And no, this is not that. This is color. Patience, time, water, little, little bits of water. You have the chicken, you have the beans, you have the rice. If you don't have a rice cooker, um, you add whatever cup of rice, if you're using one of these, if you're filling it up, your, that's your, your cup, and you're adding the same amount of water plus this much more. It's always a little bit more on top of the amount of rice that you put, you know, in, in your cup. A little bit of oil, maybe like a tablespoon of oil, and if you add salt to your rice, add some salt to taste. Make sure you, you know, twirl it around with a spoon and then taste it to see how salty it is. 
So there you have it. I will be posting a picture at the end of the video so that you can see how it turned out. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Um, this was taught to me by my mother who loves to cook. She cooks amazing, very delicious. So I try my hardest to, when I wanna make things that I like, that it comes out like what she does how her food comes out so um the techniques that i showed you today the ingredients you can do that with pretty much anything that you cook whether it's uh shrimp uh spaghetti um your beans as you saw uh your beef or your chicken so there will be more videos like this coming up because there's slightly different techniques to certain things, but it's not that crazy uh, a major difference. So I'm going to finish up here. I'm getting really, really hungry, but stay tuned for that picture so you can see how beautiful it is. And just to leave you with this one, you know your chicken is done when you see it falling apart, when you move it around, when you poke it. Don't get no medium rare chicken up in the house, girl. Your man's gonna break up with you if you fuck this shit up, girl. Please don't fuck this shit up, alright? Alright. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. Tell me what you think. And if you add something different than I do to your chicken, um, I would love to hear about it. We all do things differently. Some of you guys may do something that's way better, like caramelizing some sugar before adding the chicken or whatever it is. Comment down below for the other ladies because none of us are wrong unless all you use is this powder for your chicken. Then you're absolutely wrong and I will block you from the comment section. Girl, bye. Bye.